Hi, this is Stephanie Manley with Copycat Recipes. You've loved it in the restaurant. Now let's make it at home. Today we're going to make Wendy's Chili. Wendy's Chili is one of my all-time favorite recipes. This recipe makes a ton, so you can invite all your friends and family over and no one's going to go away hungry. So let's get cooking. So we're going to start browning our ground meat for our chili. I like to brown my ground meat on a medium to medium high heat. So we're going to put two pounds of ground meat in here. I love using ground chuck. I think it has a great flavor and it's inexpensive. That's always good. So one pound in the other. I'm going to go ahead and put my onions in right now and we'll let that start browning. So our ground meat is cooking right now. We're just going to let that finish off. So when I cooked this hamburger meat, I didn't add any oil or anything to this. I just put in the ground meat and the onions and let it simmer away. So in a couple more minutes, we'll add the rest of the ingredients to this. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my chili powder. Again, I'm adding a quarter cup. But you know, chili powder's not too spicy, so I've never found that to be too much. So I'm going to give that a quick little stir. I'm going to add in my green bell pepper. My celery. I'm going to go ahead and add in some of my spices. I'm going to add in my salt. My garlic powder. My cumin. I added a little extra. I prefer a little bit more cumin. I'm going to give this a quick stir again. I'm going to add in my black pepper. My oregano. Here's my oregano. Cayenne pepper. This is my cayenne pepper. If you like your chili more spicy, go ahead and add some extra. I add a little bit of sugar. Sugar helps counteract any acidity with the tomatoes. The next I'm going to add in my tomato juice. This is what helps give this chili its extra flavor. I'm going to add four cups in. Next comes my tomato puree. You can buy tomato puree. It's not sauce and it's not paste, but it's actually puree. Grocery stores do sell this. I'm going to give this a quick stir again, and then I'm going to add in pinto beans and kidney beans. Here's my kidney beans. Just going to finish stirring this, and I'm going to come back in about an hour and a half to some great tasting Wendy's chili. We've just made Wendy's chili. But you know what? You don't have to stop there. I've got over 1,500 more recipes at copycat.com. So stop on by and you can cook more of your restaurant favorites. You've loved it in the restaurant. Now you can make it at home. Our chili is done now. It looks just fabulous. <laughs> I love chili. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stephanie Manley. Have you ever wondered how your favorite restaurant makes that special dish? Well, I put together over 1,500 recipes that taste just like they do in the restaurant. Visit copycat.com and find recipes from the Olive Garden, Outback Steakhouse, the Cracker Barrel, and so much more. Visit copycat.com and discover recipes such as the Olive Garden Alfredo sauce, Olive Garden salad dressing, and Hooters fried pickles. You've tried it in the restaurant, now make it at home.